this is our introduction to networks. Now, a network can mean many things. Um, this is a picture of a network. Um, this might be town A, and this might be a road leading to town B, and this might be town C and town E and town D. And it gives you a sense of how you can get from town to town. This might also be a friendship group um, where A and B are friends, but A and C are not friends but B and C are friends. So if A uh, wanted to talk to C, they might need to go through B, a bit like schoolyard stuff. There are a lot of different uses for networks, particularly in this digital age. Um, that's what we're gonna be looking at. First of all, we have to cover a lot of terminology. It's got this whole language associated with networks. Now, this is a graphical representation of a real world network. So we call this representation a graph. You're going to be asked to draw a lot of graphs, interpret a lot of graphs. That's what we mean. Not pie graph or column graph. This is what mathematicians mean when they say the word graph. Now next up, we're going to talk about each of these points, whether they're towns or friends. Each one of those points is called a vertex. So this is vertex A and that's vertex B. If you want to talk about multiple vertexes, you don't say that. You say vertices. All right, so there are our towns, there are our little people, whatever they are. Next up, we have our roads, if you like, and we call those edges. All right, so we have a graph, and the graph is made up of vertices and edges. So next up, we have an important piece of terminology here, and the terminology is degree. Now, a degree is how many edges connect to a vertex. Ta-da! Okay, so let's look at um, A, for instance, at town A. We can say that town A has, or well, really this is the way you write it, the degree of A is equal to, and then we count up the edges that connect to the vertex. One, two, three. So the degree of A is three. Uh, what about the degree of B? That's equal to two. Uh, the degree of E, that's equal to 1, 2, 3. The degree of D, 1, 2. The degree of C, 1, 2. This is some new notation that you need to learn. The degree of this is equal to that. The degree of that is equal to that. That might be a question on an exam that you would have to answer. All right, so that's the vertex, the edges, and the degree sort of combines the idea of vertexes and edges and lets you describe a vertex. Now I'm going to add a little bit to our graph here, our network. Now we need to really consider them as towns at this point. Now I live in a town, or I used to live in a town called Stanthorpe, and they had this great road that would leave the town and take you past like a bunch of historic stuff and then just come back to the town. The road didn't lead anywhere, it was just nice to drive along. Um, now, in terms of graph theory, in terms of networks, we call that kind of uh, edge a loop. Now, one thing I want you to notice about the loop is when you add a loop to a vertex, watch what happens to the degree of B now. The degree of B after adding that loop is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Even though there are only three edges connected to B, it's the actual beginning and end of the edge that we count. So we actually have degree 4 now with that new loop. So loops add degree 2 to any vertex that you add them to. There is so much new language that you're going to have to learn when it comes to networks, but there is a little bit. Vertex, uh, graph, vertex, edges, uh, degree, and loops. There is so, so, so many. You want to go into the back of your book and start writing yourself a glossary because you're going to end up with like 20 new words and you're going to have to understand what they all mean. All right, that's our beginning to networks.